guys welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm gonna be doing a room tour for you guys so yes it's a long and awaited last room tour ever since i moved into my new place i've actually moved twice already so this is my third room being in this salon kind of over it it's been a very <sighs> I'm not even gonna go there um but i am finally settled into my room and it's funny because i'm actually moving now in three weeks <laughs> i know so i've been at this place for almost a year now and in three weeks it's going to be my one year and who knows where we're going to end up in three weeks okay so before i move out i wanted to do a room tour for you guys and just show you guys how i have everything nice and decorated how i have everything organized it's not fully decorated because i knew that i wasn't going to be staying here for long so i didn't put too much thought into it but i wanted to keep it very minimal very clean just simple that has been my okay so i have windows in my room and it's still a little weird that people see me <laughs> a girl was just walking up and she was just smiling because she saw me recording okay so i'm gonna do a room tour for you guys give you guys details where i got things from all that good stuff because i know i get a lot of questions on where did you get this where did you get that so let's get into it okay so i'm gonna do a wide view for this clip because i want to show you guys exactly the view of what you get when you first walk in so i'm literally standing by the door right now and this is the overall view it is a pretty decent sized room and when i had moved into the salon the first time i actually had one of the biggest rooms and i had so many problems with that room so i moved to another room that one was the biggest room they had in the salon and it was double the size of this bed of this room right here i loved it i had a lot of space but i feel like it was just not working out again i had a lot of problems with that room too so i ended up moving into this other room and i've been here for a couple of months now and i love it so cute okay so let's get into where i got things and all that good stuff okay so where i was standing at that's the door and then i have my bed and my cart on this side of the wall as you can see and then i do have huge windows i love this because it gives me beautiful lighting especially when it comes to taking pictures and recording okay so i know i'm gonna get a lot of questions on my bed specifically so my bed is not your typical massage table i actually got this professionally made from a guy here in vegas so he specializes in doing vanities like makeup vanities and i ended up buying a vanity from him if you guys have seen any of my older lash studio videos i do talk a lot about that vanity and i also talk about where i got my bed and i also do have a full video all about my bed i'm not going to get too much into detail the bed does not get higher or does not get lower so the way it's at that's how it was made because it's made out of wood it's made out of leather let me just show you guys real quick okay so she is pretty look at her she is so beautiful i love her so she is all white she actually has an insert in here where i store blankets and extra pillows and like stuff like that so i do have a memory foam that i got from amazon and then this padding that i just put over it to make it a little more comfortable so the white blanket that i have on top i got that one from amazon actually i got all my blankets from amazon i believe yes amazon amazon i like this one because it's a very creamy color it has little pom-poms the little whatever you call this little poof here ottoman that i actually got it from target i believe for like 40 bucks or something like that really cute i wish it was a little bit bigger but i'm not gonna complain because it's really cute so this chair i actually got it from an auction here in vegas it's called nellis auction you just can app and through there you get furniture for discount i believe i got this for 15 bucks i think i got the chair for 15 bucks and it's so pretty 
I love it because it has that creamy, beautiful color with the gold legs. I am so into the creams and the whites and gold. So you'll see that theme throughout my whole studio. So this blanket, I got it from Amazon too. And this carpet or area rug, I got it from Amazon as well. So everything is either Target, Ikea, Amazon, I think that's it. <laughs> okay, so that is the whole setup from my bed. Okay. All right, so I know I'm going to get a lot of questions on this pillow and what the best pillow is for your client, especially if you have like a massage table. So this pillow right here is from Amazon. I do have a full Amazon storefront for you guys and I have everything linked for you guys there. So if you guys have any questions or if you guys, uh, because I know somebody's going to ask, so I'm just going to tell you guys it's linked down below. Everything on my Amazon storefront, everything is in my Amazon, okay? So this pillow is hands down the best lash pillow I've used. In the four, four and a half, five, almost five years that I've been lashing, I've gone through so many different pillows. I've even bought from big name brand lash companies and none of them work for me the way that this pillow has worked for me. I love that it's like very thin and it has a, a lot of neck support in this area. So my client is able to sit up a lot closer to me, but still have that support that they need on their neck. So again, you do want your client to be as comfortable as possible, not only you, but your client. So this is what works for me. I love that it sits up higher, closer to me, and I'm able to really get in there and lash without me having to struggle and look really far out to see their lashes. So yes, this pillow, hands down, amazing. Okay, so I know I'm going to get a lot of questions on my light. So this light is the Cosmo Glow Light, as you can tell. And this light is actually really, really nice to be able to lash. But honestly, if you just have a regular ring light from Amazon or even the ones that are double, then anything works as long as it has amazing lighting. If I'm being honest, I would not pay for $100 again for a light. I do have a full YouTube video all about lighting and I give you guys my honest opinion about this light. Again, I paid $400 for this light. Will I ever pay for another one no so this one takes a dump on me i'll probably go back to using a regular ring light just my honest opinion it's a beautiful light i love that it's half shaped and it's a moon it doesn't take up a lot of space and it's really nice i'm not gonna lie but for the price you get the same amount of lighting for a regular basic amazon ring light just being straight up okay so as you can see i have a lot of attachments on this so i have this lash tray that's attached here i have this gooseneck up here this white one that i used to record my content and then this little mirror here just lets me see my client so yes you can adjust that way you're able to see your client's lashes from a different angle. If you are not on TikTok, you probably don't know, but it was pretty popular on TikTok and that's what made me buy it. So yes, TikTok made me buy it. Also, that little table right there, TikTok made me buy it. And I'm not complaining, it's really nice. Okay, so this is on Amazon. Everything is on Amazon. Okay, so again, you just attach it to your light. I know a lot of girls like to attach it more on the other side, but I feel like it doesn't really get the angle that I want. And I noticed that clipping it from the top gives me the best angle because I'm able to really see their lashes from the other side. So this gooseneck right here, what is it called? So this gooseneck is called pre mints or something like that. So again, all of this is going to be linked on my Amazon storefront. It's going to be linked in the description box. That way you guys don't feel like, oh, where is it? Having a hard time. Again, if you just go to my Amazon storefront, it's going to be there, okay? So this gooseneck, I love how long it is and it lets me record different angles in different directions. 
dimensions. So I do have a regular tripod over there, but it's just, it's very, it doesn't really get the angles that I want. So ever since I switched over to a gooseneck, I've been able to record those really up close shots for you guys, especially for Instagram or TikTok content. I know you guys love that. So yes, I'm able to attach my phone. I could do the horizontal or I can do the vertical recording. So yes, hands down amazing so you could clip it from the top or you could clip it from the side but i prefer that it works for me the best from the top okay so that is my view all the time this is my view <laughs> okay so i know this is the number one thing i'm going to get a lot of questions for so this little attachment here, it's a universal tray, and all you do is clip it on to your ring light. I like it because I'm able to put my phone here and check if I have any incoming messages. If I'm not recording, then my phone stays here and it's just out of the way. So I am going to have an updated how I set up for my client's video coming very soon. Um, probably after this one or maybe in a video or two but that's the next one I'm coming out with and I'm going to show you guys exactly step by step on how I set up for my clients and this tray has been a huge game changer I love that it doesn't have legs because obviously I don't like having a lot of clutter I don't like feeling like I'm cramped I went from having a big room to not having a decent sized room and I don't want to end up feeling like I don't have you know space you know so that's why i like that it attaches to my light and it doesn't have separate legs because imagine having another tray roaming around here it's gonna get very annoying i don't like that so my whole aesthetic for this room was clean simple and just simple <laughs> okay so yes i love that i'm able to attach it to my ring light and it works out so nicely. I didn't know I needed something like this until I got it. And I was like, wait a minute, like this just changes the way that I lash. Because before I used to just grab everything from my lash cart. And as you can see, I have a lot of product on here. Obviously, I have it nice and organized. It might look like a mess right now, but it works for me, okay? So I used to just grab the product when I needed it and then put it back. But I noticed that it kind of gets a little distracting, especially for your clients that are trying to nap. When you're reaching for stuff and moving stuff around in your car, it can be a little annoying and distracting. So I prefer to just put everything that I need right there on the lash cart. That way I'm not reaching and making noise and my client can sleep comfortably. Okay, so that is my setup that I have here. Okay, and I'm going to get questions about my chair. So this little guy right here has been a total game changer for me ever since I bought it when I moved into my studio. So before then, I was using like a regular office chair. I think I bought it at Ikea for like 15 bucks. It was so uncomfortable. And if you know what I'm talking about, if you use like a regular office chair, it gets very uncomfortable. So I ended up buying a butt cushion and it helped alleviate some back pain, but it was still very uncomfortable. So it wasn't until I ended up switching over to a saddle chair and it has made a huge difference in my posture. So this chair is actually, it's meant for posture. It's meant to alleviate pain. And I love it because the seat is very round. If you guys don't know me, I have a lot of junk in the truck, if you know what I mean. <laughs> and I needed a, a saddle chair that was going to support all of the back end, you know. So I love that this one has a wide butt cushion and it just helps alleviate a lot of back pain. You can move the back end forward, you can move it backwards. I like to keep it pretty straightforward because I like for it to just keep me in the position that I need to be. Yeah, and it's very, very comfortable. It's white, looks very clean. Oh, I just love my chair, it's so comfortable. I wish the chairs would have been gold, but it's okay. It works in the meantime. Okay, so over here, 
I have my lash card. So generally, I like to put my lash card on this side of my bed because that's usually where I reach for. It does get in the way when I'm sitting down over here, um, but that's usually where I put it when I'm not using it or I'm not lashing. So that's this little corner that it goes to every night when I, you know, finish up and get ready. So if you guys are interested, I do have a full lash cart, updated lash cart organization video. It's actually one of the last recent ones. So if you guys are interested, you guys can go check that video out because I'm not going to go into detail too much on this lash cart because it's a lot of product. <laughs> so if you guys are interested, check out that video. I am going to be posting the link up here for you guys or in the description box. But yeah, just as reference, I got this cart on michael's for like 45 dollars you could get it on amazon target whatever i do have a couple of them on my amazon storefront which are really similar but same brand so yeah amazon is the way to go okay so up here i have this neon sign and it says this is where the magic happens i wish it would have been like a white like a, a icy white color but it's more of a golden white but it's still really cute it just says this is where the magic happens um i believe my husband got it for me on amazon okay so over here i know this wall is very simple again i knew i wasn't going to be staying here for too long so i didn't want to put too much effort into decorating the room and for me to just tear it back down you know so this side, I just have these cute little shelves. These shelves, I actually got them in the same place that I got my chair over here from that auction place that I was telling you guys about. I believe I got it for like two bucks. <laughs> I'm telling you, if you guys are in Vegas, that is where it's at. Okay, so over here I have my certificate that I got from Lightheart Lash when I trained with Maddie last year so cute and it just holds a special place in my heart so i have it just sitting right here and then over here i just have some random just random decor that i got from hobby lobby and then i am into the whole macrame look so i know it just seems a little weird that this guy is just hanging by itself right there but i got it for christmas so it's cute and it just it's just there, just hanging out. <laughs> okay, so that is it for this side of my room. Now let's jump to this side of the room. Okay, I'm probably going to get questions about my sink. So this is a salon, and the salon actually came with the sink. And it actually worked out really beautifully because my aesthetic is white, and the sink is white, and it just matches with my furniture so well. So it just looks nice and clean. Okay, so over here, I have this bookshelf that I got from Ikea. So all my furniture is from Ikea because I know you guys are going to ask. So it is from Ikea, okay? Okay, at the top shelf, I have my Lash Babe Masterclass that I did in Houston, Texas with my good friend Irma. So I just have the box up here. It's going to hold a special place in my heart because it was my first official group training and just look how cute the box is. So yeah, it just sits up there looking all cute. <laughs> I don't have much up here. So this little drawer or little organizer has a bunch of tweezers. So this little thing right here is just where I keep my business cards at, so yeah. Okay, so down here, isn't she so pretty? Okay, so I ended up getting awards from London Lash. If you guys have not followed or seen any of my last uh, of videos from like a year back, I used to talk about London Lash so much. And this was before I started my own brand. 
London Lash has a place, special place in my heart because they were the one brand that believed in me so much and I love them and I respect them so much and the fact that they're still awarding me, to me that means a lot that they still see me as a lash artist and not just as another brand or competition, you know? So that's why I love London Lash so much because they're not about competition, they're about supporting the community and these awards mean a lot to me. So yes, I got 2021 and 2022, the London Lash International Award of Excellence. So thank you, London Lash. They mean the world to me. So yes, I just keep them here because I like to look at them. They're so pretty. Okay, so over here, I just have my aesthetics license. So yes, I am licensed in aesthetics. So I just keep that here. I know I should probably get it framed. I told myself I was going to, but I don't know what it is. I just completely forget all the time. Okay, so over here, I just have some Bath & Body Works air fresheners or sprayers. Or some... Yes, they're room sprays, okay? Back here, I have my Lash Babe Masterclass that I did. So that's the actual manual that we ended up doing for the Masterclass. And I keep it back here because I do like to look at it. I wanted to frame it, but it's a big manual. It's very thick, so there's no way I could frame it. <laughs> so it just sits back there looking all pretty. Okay, so that's the second row. So down here, I just have this simple mirror. I, I don't know what I was thinking. It's just sitting there, but it looks cute. So this right here, my sister actually got it for me. It says work hard so you can shop harder. So she bought that for me. Okay, so right here, I just have my collection of tweezers. So this organizer is actually from Elaine Butte. And then the one back here is from London Lash. So yes, all of these tweezers are my own collection. They're just different colors. So it was when I had ordered a bunch of tweezers and I was trying to decide what color I was going to go with. I was leaning more towards the white and the gold because obviously that's my aesthetic. But something about the nude and the gold just stuck with me. And this is the first collection I decided to launch. I am coming out with different collections, but this one just holds a special place in my heart. So if you guys don't know, I do have my own collection of tweezers available and I am going to have them linked down below. The only thing is that about my products, they are very exclusive and I don't like using that word, but I do have a membership where I give you guys access to all my products and my online courses. My online courses are free if you sign up for my membership compared to paying $500, $700 for an online course, you get it for free and all my products you could get them 50% off and free shipping within the States. So the reason why I decided to go through the membership process is because it helps you save money and it lets me know that I can focus my attention on the girls who are really serious about leveling up their skills because yes, you do get free mentorship with my membership and I'm going to have everything linked down below for you guys because I don't want to get too much into detail. It's a lot, a lot of things that come with the membership and I'm just so excited that I'm able to offer that because nobody else in the industry does this. So yes, I'm excited to be able to offer that to you guys. Okay, and then down here, we get into the last row and then this one just has a little mini lash fridge and I got this one from Elaine Butte. So the fridge, the lash organizers and the tweezer organizer, they are from the same company. And this one just holds a bunch of lash tiles. This one is a fridge, it actually heats up. So you could actually keep stuff warm and you could actually do the cold option as well. So it's really cute. I just don't have it plugged in. Have water back there for my clients. And then down here, I just have products for my students. And well, not no more because I'm not doing trainings anymore. Other than my tour. So if you guys do want to get trained by me, then I recommend for you guys to check out my tour because I'm not doing private trainings anymore. So yeah, I usually keep products in here and then extra blankets down there. Okay, so I'm pretty sure I'm going to get questions about this, but my hand uh, sanitizer, I believe I got that from Ross. Um, so yeah, it's actually a soap dispenser, but I put hand sanitizer in there. And then I got the soap and the little 
organizer from Bath and Body Works. They're so cute, the little butterflies. And then I have my tweezer cleaner over here, the barber side. So I'm not gonna get too much into detail about um, my cleaning supplies, but I just have a bunch of hand soap and stuff down there. Okay. Okay, before I get into this side of my room, I'm gonna talk about this side over here. So this is actually my student's desk was past tense because I just did my last training this weekend, meaning I'm not going to be doing private trainings anymore. I'm going to be focusing more on my tour and that means that I'm not going to be doing private trainings. So this desk, I got it from the same place that I got my little couch from again, Nellis Auction here in Las Vegas. It's a discounted furniture spot. I believe I got this desk for five dollars or twelve dollars i don't remember but it was very affordable compared to buying one from ikea for like 100 something yes it was definitely a steal this chair i got it from ross i believe so cute i was looking for a beige one could never find a beige one and i just stuck with the gray so it is what it is so yeah this little table came in handy with my private trainings and I've taught so many students on this table and I'm just so sad that I'm not gonna be doing that no more. I know. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna get questions on this plant here and this vase. So this vase, I got it from Hobby Lobby along with the little pumpus. It's like a fake pumpus, it's not even real. I don't know what it feels like, but it's really nice. It's cute. I like it. But yes, Hobby Lobby. Okay, so excited to talk about this hygrometer. So it's actually a weather station. Yes, it's so cool. I love it because look how cute it is. It's digital, so it just shows you the weather outside. It gives you the room temperature inside and outside. And it's obviously really low. I've had this issue with the salon since I've started working here and they keep it in the summer it's really really hot and in the winter it's really really cold and I've been struggling with them to try to keep it above 70. It's been in the mid 60s this whole week and I've just been very frustrated and you guys know that with low temperature it will affect your glue so my glue has, my glue has been drying very very slow and i've just i've been so frustrated i can't wait to get out of here it's too much too much going on in here but yes this hygrometer is amazing it is linked in my amazon storefront and i love it so much as you can tell my humidity is very low because i do have my humidifier off but yes it does track everything perfect it's big you can see it from across the room i love it so this is actually a glue shaker and it broke on me. So I need to get a new one. Just keep it here because it's cute. So yeah, this is what I keep on my student's desk now that I'm not training no more. Okay, so that's this side of the room. Okay, so over here I do have a bunch of certificates. I'm not going to get too much into detail. If you guys would like me to talk about my certificates, I can get into detail about that. Um, I do have a lot more that I have at my house. I've taken a lot of online courses. So I have about five more certificates at home that I did not want to end up putting all over my walls because I didn't want to make too much, too many holes, I guess you can say. So yeah. I guess the simple ones are just, the basic ones are here, but I do have, the most recent ones are at home. So these ones are old certificates that I have here, and like they're just there, but they look cute, right? So up here, I have my TV. I like to listen to murder mystery podcasts. I like to play some music when I'm lashing, and right now, I was listening to the old school 2000s hip-hop R&B music. It's just the best. You can't go wrong with old school music. <laughs> okay, so over here. <laughs> so over here, I have this IKEA 
shelves and it just looks so cute in this little corner i felt like i needed something over here so this shelf is just perfect because i'm able to store some products so up here i have my yoyis mirrors which they are available on my website you guys can sell them to your clients or you guys can use them to show off the work that you just did so i have them up here i do sell them to my clients and then this little organizer, I believe I got it from Target. And it's just so cute because it's clear with the white. It's actually like a file organizer, book organizer, but got it from Target. Okay, so over here, I'm trying to figure out if I got this from Amazon or if I got this from Hobby Lobby. I don't remember. It was a while ago. I got this little cup, I think it was a planter, I think it's meant for like a succulent plant, so I got this on Amazon and I just like how cute it looks here, like I feel like I needed a little something and isn't she so cute with the little lashes and the gold and the white, it just matches my aesthetic, so cute. So these little guys right here are actually some spoolie keychains that I used to sell. They're out of stock now. I know I've been getting a lot of requests to bring them back and we are working on it. It's coming, okay? <laughs> okay, so these used to be my old shampoos and these were specially made from another company and they're just so cute. I have my last one sitting here. So usually when I have a new client, I end up getting giving them a small bottle. For my clients that have been coming to me for a while, once they run out of their free lash shampoo, then I sell them my bigger bottle, which it looks like this. So this is the one that I sell and it's called Wash Me Baby. It is available on my website. So this is the one that I sell to them afterwards and it is a 150 milliliter bottle. So it is a big bottle. So yes, first time around I gave them a small bottle because it comes included with their set. And then the second time when they need to purchase the other one, then I sell them the big one and the big one will last them like six months up to a year. It goes a long way <laughs> so my girls are getting taken care of okay okay so down here I have this organizer I actually got this from Target and it was so cute because I used to have all my scrunchies and spoolies on here but I'm like learning low on inventory um, so I just ended up putting chocolate in there my clients love it they are able to grab a chocolate sometimes I have girls that are like in bed and they're like do you still have one of those chocolates so sometimes i'll feed them chocolates <laughs> while i'm lashing them it's so funny but yeah they love that i have the chocolates here and yes the brushes so my brushes are these gold ones that say wash me baby and it's the same as the there you go it's the same as the shampoo so yes those are there so over here i do have again the tripod that i use but i feel like because i've worn it out so much it doesn't hold strong anymore so i may or may not buy a new one but at the moment the gooseneck is working for me so i just leave it there okay so down here i have this little dream down there i have some scrunchies oh no my dresser is messed up okay so down there i have scrunchies I do sell scrunchies and they have diamonds on them. They're super cute. And then down there, I have a box from Yegi Beauty. I think it was the last PR box that they ever sent down to me. And I love it. It's so cute. So it just stays down there. So these little sandals are from Elaine Butte. And I bought them for my last room, but I don't use them. I don't know why. But they're just there. They look cute. You know, they got little lashes. So yeah, that's where they are. Now for the main part of my room, other than my lash bed, I got a lot of questions about this dresser. So in that video where I talk about my updated lash cart, I do talk about my dresser and everything that's in it. So I'm not going to get too much into detail because again, I've already done a video on 
my organization. So if you guys are interested in what I have in my dresser, then I recommend for you guys to go check out my updated lash cart organization video. But I'm just going to quickly talk about the stuff that I do have on top because it just looks so cute, so simple, so aesthetic. Okay, so the mirror I bought off of Walmart, I believe. I want to say Target, but I don't think it was Target. I'm pretty sure it was Walmart. I'm 100% sure it was Walmart, but I'm doubting myself. <laughs> let's just go with that i know i've seen a similar mirror at target and it's a little bit bigger and i wish i would have got the bigger one but i mean it still looks cute right i'm not complaining so this is where my clients come to go look at themselves yes i'm recording with my phone i do have a really good phone that records amazing content so if you guys are interested in what i use to record my content it is my phone so this phone is actually the samsung s23 ultra i believe it's the big phone and it comes in a lilac purple it's so cute and i just love recording all my content with it okay so now that you guys know what i'm using to record now you guys know you don't need a special camera to start up a YouTube channel, no? okay? All right, so mirror, Walmart, I believe. I'm pretty sure, I think. <laughs> Let's just go with that. Okay, so these frames of the pump is on the sides. I got it from Hobby Lobby and they're both different ones, but with the same look. So in my room, my whole aesthetic is pompous, so that's why I decided to go with them because it just looks clean. It looks just simple, you know? So this pompous, I actually got it from Amazon, and the little vase, which is a little booty, it's just so cute, it actually was from Amazon as well, so look how cute it is. Pretty... Okay, this lash mirror, I got it from London Lash. So thank you, London Lash, for sending me this cute lash mirror. I love it, and it just sits here with all the gold stuff. Okay, so this little guy right here, I got it from a good friend. Um, I've been having it for two, three years, I believe, already, and I just keep it here, put my lash cards. This is the card swiper that I use to check out my clients. And over here, I have my new collection of brown lashes that I just dropped. And they're called Cafe Latte Cashmere Collection. It's a big tray and it comes with caramel lashes and brown lashes. It is 0.05 CC Curl Mix. And they're just so pretty. I do have a video on how to style brown lashes, but I am getting ready to drop a new video on brown lashes. So I keep this here. For now okay so on this side of my dresser I have an oil diffuser so this oil diffuser I actually got it on Target for sale <laughs> it was seven dollars so cute it has a little lashes so yeah I diffuse oil in this over here I have this little decor that says mindset is everything and on the back end it says if you want it work for it I get a lot of questions on my humidifier and the humidifier I use is called Wuzu and it is gonna be linked in my Amazon storefront for you guys and I love this bad boy so again as you guys can tell my humidity is really really low I live in Vegas so it's very dry out here so I need a humidifier to create moisture in the air that way my glue works better so again if you guys are interested I do have this one linked in my Amazon storefront so yeah that's it for my room tour all right guys so we are done with my lash room tour i hope you guys enjoyed and liked it i know i would look like a hot mess 
we are just doing it today it's all good i'm not here to look pretty i'm here to help you guys out okay so i hope you guys enjoyed today's video i hope you guys liked my updated lash room tour and i know it's not all you know classy and looking all like done up again i wasn't going for the whole extreme done up look i've done that in the past i used to be a pink girly i grew out of it i'm over it i wanted something clean something simple something aesthetic and i just went with the white gold and pompous look because it's very trendy now um other than that i hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you guys have any questions or are interested on anything that i mentioned today make sure to check the description box everything is linked in the description box okay so thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you guys in my next video and if you are new here make sure to subscribe so you guys don't miss out on future content bye